Hi, I'm Logan with UltimatePatio.com, and today we're talking about Sunbrella fabric. You want to see something gross? Check this out. Finish it! Accidents happen, but not every accident has to end in a neck brace. Sunbrella makes it easy to clean off your cushions after your next food fight. Let's see it in action. Camera two. Sunbrella does a better job of rejecting water than my dog when it's time for a bath. Shout outs, little Pete. <coughs> what this means is that most offensive liquids can be removed immediately with no lasting harm to the fabric. Look, I'm only using 10% of my strength to spray this water and it comes right off. Coffee, ketchup, mustard, eggs, I don't know what kind of party it is. Sunbrella doesn't care. Let's make it worse. No, no, no. I've used this cushion as a napkin for the last three months, and for some reason it's developed a stain that I can't seem to get off with regular water. That's okay. For tougher stains, Sunbrella recommends combining a quarter cup of regular dish soap per gallon of earth water. Simply spray, scrub, let it sit for about five minutes or one cocktail, and then rinse off with unsoapy water. Sunbrella is what's called a solution dyed fabric. Each individual thread is dyed through to the core rather than just on the outside. Think radishes and carrots. Radishes are red on the outside but show off their pasty interior when cut in half, while a carrot is orange the whole way through. This is what makes Sunbrella fabric so resistant to fading. This also means that adding a little bleach to your mixture of dish soap and water to clean tougher stains, mildew, and mold is totally okay. Maybe I'll use it later to clean this stain off of my shirt pocket. Didn't think I'd notice you looking at it? Thanks for hanging out with me today. Be sure to check out the Learning and Inspiration Centers and ultimatepatio.com for more information on how to clean your Sunbrella cushions. Thanks again, and have a great day. Gross.